All right, guys. What's how's it going? Um, I got asked by one person how to go about RNG with Lewis Script as far as Sweet Sing goes. I guess they weren't able to figure it out, and I don't blame them because I tried, and it took me a little while, but I finally got it tinkered around with some of the methods, and um, I finally figured out how to get on it every time. So um, I'm gonna go ahead. This is what this video is about. Sweet Sing specifically with Lewis Script. So, I mean, everything that apl applied last time, you guys should already know. I'm just going to kind of zoom through the stuff that you should already have watched if you're actually interested in doing it like this. So, just watch that video, and then if you really want to know how to do a sweet scent, just kind of look at the specifics on this. So, first things first, the methods you're going to use, as far as it came down to me, I ended up using method H4 most of the time. There was instances where I used method H2, but not as often. So you're going to want to stick with method H4 for the most part. All right. And what I'm going to be sweet sensing for is a bag on. So the way you do that is you need your encounter slots. So you go to third gen tools and you click Emerald encounter table, a little window on well that window or window will pop up depending on your browser. And this is what's going to show up. And I already did a control F so I can go down and narrow down on bag on. Meteor Falls, obviously, and his encounter slots are 2, 4, and 6. Okay, so those are the ones you're looking for. So you go back to RNG Reporter. Uh, I'm just looking for Shiny, nothing IV specific. Make sure it's a wild Pokemon. Uh, there's no Sweet Scent uh, specific um, encounter type. Remember the method. I'm not using a synchronizer. I haven't messed around with it, but uh, I mean, it has the same results just make sure you have a synchronizer if you're specifying so then you're going to want to go to encounter slots and we said it was two four and six and just shiny i don't care about ivs and then you generate uh of course i want to go over the smallest one because this is just an example and it's 750 so that's our that's our goal 751 i like to write everything down on notepad so i can go back and reference myself it's it's, it's a habit and it's, it's it works for me whatever works for you guys Alright, so now that we know what we want to land on, of course, we got to load up the game. And I'm already in the area, so all I really got to do is run it, get to my area. And for sweet scenting, remember guys, bag on. I mean, not that it's specific for the video, you guys should already know this if you're avid Pokemon fans. <laughs> this is the only area you can catch bag on in. So, uh, anyways, your safe state, you're going to make that right here with the arrow hovering over sweet scent all right and i've done this a couple times already so usually it's from it ranges anywhere from 400 to 200 frame different uh difference so i want to stop around 6,000. and i'm going to go ahead and speed it up real quick by turning off the sound letting it go by uh, i'm going to get it i'm going to let it get to 6,000. that way i can work from there and see where i'm at so once I get to 6,000, I'm going to make a save state. doesn't have to be 6,000 exactly. just have to be around. I'm about to get there here in a minute. Paused it. Made a save state. 60. So on save one, I have it at 60, 81. Okay. All right. So make sure you turn the sound off so you get it back at normal speed or on. Sorry. And remember, hold down A, unpause it to initiate whatever. I mean method one all that just initiate the animation to whatever you're trying to capture and so you go and it's a go bat go bat is the most common pokemon in this area so it can be a little hard to narrow down the uh encounter slot uh but let's just go ahead and as usual enter our ivs and uh figure out oops figure out where we landed as far as the difference goes Okay, make sure you uncheck shiny and you uncheck your encounter slots because you were when you were doing that you were being specific to bag on you just want to look in general what you landed on and nothing up here <clears throat> okay uh see this is where i was talking about the difference on methods let's go to h h slash two and i did get something right it says i'm on 60 oh it doesn't say but if we go back here go back is on encounters slot zero one and eight nine and I believe 10, 11. Okay, so basically two through 
7, he's not showing up, right? So if we go back, so anything that's 2 through 7, so it can't be this one, can't be this one. I remember we originally was this one, so there's no way it could be this one. I doubt it's going to be this one. I'm going to go to... That's really annoying because it's hard to really narrow down. But you know what? This is a prime example, so I think it'd be better to show you anyways how to kind of comb through what you need to do. So right away, you know, actually the best way would be that you know you landed, so it cannot be... It's got to be these encounter slots. So there you go. Generate. Cuts it down just a little bit. So now you know you're somewhere here. I personally, I'm going to assume that I'm on 636, I landed on 636.1 just because I know my range and so I went from 6, 60.81 to 630, 63.61, okay? And then you go to your calculator, of course, you calculate how much you were off, take away 60.81, it's a 280 difference. So a difference of 280, and it's going to be different for, I, I kind of recognize that difference, so I'm comfortable with picking what I picked. Just for you guys, when you want to do it, just make sure you do it somewhere where you have a wide range of Pokemon, and it's not just a, not just a single Pokemon, because it'll be a little bit more difficult if you're not used to it already. So we know that's our difference, and remember, if we go here and we clear everything out, 2, 4, 6 shiny clear all these out even in this even in this method you still get the same frame 751 right I still it's still the same one you land on so now that we know where we're at uh, remember our target is 751 but our difference is 280 so we want to land on two on six sixty seven seventy one right so we're gonna pause we're gonna load we want to advance so we're gonna just unpause let it go to 6771 is where we want to be. So we just let it advance. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so I'm 67. And you can advance the control M for single frame advancements. Let me get there real quick. Just don't want to pass it. I have to be through it. Come on, come on. Okay, there. So now I'm going to make a save state on save state 2. Alright, so we know that save 2. We're at 6771, right? Alright, so now all we really need to do if we did this correctly is uh, just unpause it and get into the animation. And we should land or run into the one that we're looking for. And if we don't, we just calculate where we went wrong. But look at that. Worked on the first time. Uh, I did it a couple times. I was off a couple frames. Just uh, adjust accordingly and you should be fine. But that's how you do it, guys. That's how you RNG with Lewis script with Sweet Scent um, using the methods either H2 or H4. Um, I haven't gotten it to work with 2 or 4, so I mean, I don't recommend doing it, but if you can, I mean, by all means. But uh, that's how you do Sweet Scent RNG. And for specifics, I mean, if you want to run into a certain Pokemon, remember you use your encounter slots with the tools up there. and. That's pretty much it, but um, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed and I hope this helped you guys out. And until next time, y'all have a good one.